All right, guys, welcome back to the shack. And finally, guys, I've been keeping a secret. I can finally let you guys know what is going on. Uh, there's a new machine that's been in the shop for a couple of weeks. I've been doing some testing with it. And guys, just so you know, X-Tool is coming out with a new machine. The designation, of course, is going to be the S1. All right, this machine has the capability of running three different modules, a 40 watt, a 20 watt, and an hour module, I think is two watts. Uh, I've got the 40 watt module version of the machine with just the base setup. So I've been using it for a few days and guys, it's, it's a beast when it comes to cutting and when it comes to engraving. So I'm going to go over some of the projects that I've done with it so far. Uh, X tool doesn't want me to show you the machine yet, but it it will be out soon. So stick around and we're going to get to some of the testing that I've done so far with the machine. One of the first things that everybody's going to want to know, of course, is cutting ability. And guys, a diode laser, I think I called it early on in the uh, laser engraving community group that we have. Uh, diode lasers have made leaps and bounds since the uh, 10 watt X-Tool D1 was released a couple of years ago. And guys, the cutting ability of this machine is insane. So there's, there's the cut test that I did. And this is with the Z-axis uh, negative out, you know, two millimeters or so. Uh, <clears throat> I'm consistently on this Luan that I run, consistently getting 20 millimeters uh, per second, clean drops, no snags, no problems. Uh, another thing, guys, that is impressive about the machine, and I did the marking test just for lines, and you can see it's making a, a nice, you know, marking line up to uh, 300 millimeters a second or so. And the engraving, guys, <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty extraordinary. Uh, I've been able to do a lot of different engraves, and I've been able to do them at 400 millimeters per second, which is insane. Uh, you can see the speed test there. Uh, maybe this other camera will work a little better. I got one set with a little bit more fixed focus, so let's check it out. So you can see the uh, you can see the card there, guys. 400 millimeters a second, and you can see that that's actually a really deep burn right there. So. Uh, I'll go back and uh, we'll show you my little, my little stars test here also. So that's the little stars test that I did just to give me some idea of what it would do for small shapes as well as thicker ones. And uh, 400 millimeters a second, I'm getting some nice burn. And so that's what I've been running everything. And uh, while we're on the, the, the focused camera over here, I'll show you the line test again. Uh, that's the uh, line test that I did. And you can see up here in the top, if I can get it directed right, it's, it's doing a pretty good job of making a line at 300 millimeters a second. So, cutting ability, guys. I ran this thing multiple times with cut tests, and I'm consistently getting 20 millimeters per second on this quarter inch or 4.5 millimeter Luan. So, this thing, guys... The, the, the other thing that you need to understand with this machine, and I'm going to show you, let me show you these while we're talking about it. Let me show you these, uh, these photo quality stuff that I've been doing here. So this is a, just an image I pulled off of Google, of Iron Man. And I ran this at 400 millimeters a second. And guys, this is just that regular Luan that I use. Uh, didn't take hardly any time to, to burn this out. It's insane how fast you can get stuff done. Uh, Previously, with other machines, I would have never attempted to do this portrait of the Clack Shack. But with this machine, uh, it I think it still took about an hour, but that's running it at like 220 LPI. Uh, I managed to do a pretty good sized portrait of the shack here. So with that said, guys, I know you want to know, and uh, like I said, I did some other little, did some other little jobs here. Uh, we got... Uh, I got a little engrave I did here on some Luan, as well as, of course, the Clack Shack logo. Uh, just a couple of little test runs using both the cut and engrave settings that I had determined were going to work for me. So I know here's the questions from you guys. What's this thing look like? And 
Although I was told not to show the outside of the machine, Xtool has released a little teaser video on their YouTube channel that shows the machine, shows a little more detail about the machine. But per my agreement with them, guys, I can't show you anything but the boxes until the 18th. Uh, or to the 19th. The 19th is when the machine will actually be available for order. I have no idea where the price is going to land on this thing yet. Nobody has told me. But I will tell you that for a multi-purpose machine doing engraving and cutting, it's doing really well. I thought with the 40-watt module that the spot size would be, you know, bigger. But if it is, guys, I can't tell it. Uh, it's doing a really good job. The uh, machine uses a set up to where you can actually engrave objects that are not flat now there's a procedure you got to go through in xcs uh i've played around with that it works it's it takes a minute it's not as you know it's not like using a camera to do it uh, also this machine when you put your your work material inside the machine you have the ability you, it doesn't have a camera built in the enclosure because the whole thing's enclosed okay it doesn't have a camera in the enclosure but what it does have is it has more or less where you can mark your material or wherever you're going to be engraving by moving the head over using the crosshairs to line it up you hit the button on the front of the machine go to the other corner opposite of that one hit the button on the machine and it kind of creates a square work area in xcs so that you know that's exactly where the engrave is going to go it works pretty well it's really accurate so far I'm, I'm used to cameras, so I'm having to kind of let it grow on me, but I have used it with a lot of different materials, and, it, and it's really nice. It's kind of like in a CNC world to where it shows you the size of your workpiece. Uh, so all together, guys, so far, I'm impressed with the machine. Uh, it does a really good job. The form factor, like I said, it's kind of it's kind of short, but it's it's kind of wide. Uh, the work area on the machine is not incredibly large, but uh, it's it's big enough to do most jobs. They they do offer a uh, setup to where you can use the rotary and some other add-ons for the machine. But uh, I'll let you go check that out on their website. I'll be dropping a link down below to take you directly to where you can look at this machine. So uh, be sure to click that link. Let X Tool know that I sent you, and uh, go check it out. See what you think about it. But as soon as I can get the machine visible, guys, I will. I will be throwing up a little content with some of the jobs that I do on it. Uh, maybe some photos on my Facebook page. But until I can release it, guys, this is going to have to do. So bear with me. <laughs> and until next time, guys, be safe and have a good day.